Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. In this video I'll be showing you how to recreate this sweet purple look. Um, this look would go perfectly with um, some of the nail varnishes in my latest video on the Butter London Comic Clash collection. It would go with that. It's pretty simple, yet pretty dramatic at the same time. But really nice. And um, I'm not sure if everyone would wear it, but I definitely would. So um, I'll show you how to recreate it right now. First, I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush. I'm just using this one. And I'm going to take a little bit of this colour here. Sort of like, sort of a cornflower blue. My look, sort of. It's hard to explain. I'm going to put it all over the lid. Like so. You can go ahead and use primer if you want, but I haven't found, still haven't found one that I actually like. So I'm just taking this all over the lid like so. Next, I'm going to take this purple here, which is just a really quite vibrant electric purple, slightly pearly, and these colours are just out of my 120 palette my mum got me from last Christmas. You could use any eyeshadow really, but if you've got an 88, 88 or 100, 120 palette, go ahead and use it. And that's just going over the purple. This will just help the pigment we're going to put on afterwards stand out a little bit. Like so. I'm just getting a bigger brush to blend it in a bit more. Like so. And then... I'm going to take a bit of this purple pigment, I'm not sure where this is actually from, but it's just a pigment, like, just a purple pigment. Use any one that you like. I'm just going to take a bit of that on the brush. Same brush as last time. I'm going to put it all over the lid. And just work it all in, all over. Like so. And take it and just put a little tiny bit more on. Next, I'm going to take a bit of this purple here. And this is from my Claire's palette. Just to tone the purple down a little more. And I'm actually going to put a tiny bit more pigment on top of that. And just take in my other brush just to blend it in. Just want it to look light and light when we put the eyeliner on. And next, I'm going to take a bit more of this white from my Claire's palette again. Again, just use any white you have. Just putting that under the brow bone just to highlight and just make the look come a bit more together. So, I'm going back to the 88 palette, or 120 rather, taking a bit of this silver, just get a bit of that on there, and put that on top of the white, like so. Now before I do line, I'm just going to take a makeup wipe 
can just create a band here. Like so. And before we do a liner, I'm going to take a bit of this dark colour here. I'm not sure what kind of colour, it's like a dark sort of jean colour and I'm just taking a tiny bit of that and I'm going to take it into the crease like so and just smudge that in The liner I'm going to use is uh, Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Aqua Sparkle. Right. So I'm just going to use this to line the eye, keeping it really simple, not too dramatic. Like so. Just take it out very slightly. Take it down, she uses to line everywhere. Just line your whole eye. You can do it any way you want to. This is a smudge built into the end, so I'm just going to use that. You could use your fingers too. So, and I think I'm going to take a little tiny bit more white on here. And just to finish off, just to add a bit more sparkle I'm going to take some Urban Decay Loose Pigment in Yellow I didn't, I just didn't actually do this on this side so just take a little bit on there Oops. like so and take the big blending brush I think just smooth it in I'll just add a nice bit of sparkle. Can never have too much sparkle. Um, just take a bit more of this eyeliner. Just and we're done. And um, what we're doing my foundation I think is everyone has a different routine and I don't think I should do that and because everyone's different so you wouldn't need to see mine anyway and I'll probably just put a like a simple color lipstick with this because it's quite eye-catching <laughs> so I'll just pair it with something like real light pink or a nude color whatever you have and that is just a, I'm gonna call it a dream dreamy purple I guess and that is that, pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll leave links as usual in the description box below and check out all my pages and things like that. Thanks for watching and if you recreate this look then please share a photo on Instagram or on Facebook. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, bye.